Bugs and bugs and bugs. Every computer crash you've ever had, every frozen screen, every mysterious glitch, all of them share a strange little ancestor. A creature with wings. And no, this isn't a joke. The very first computer bug that ever stopped a machine in its tracks wasn't a software glitch or a coding error. It was alive. And it flew straight into the heart of one of the most important computers of its time. The Mark II. Okay, not that Mark II. The Harvard Mark II, a monstrous electromechanical computer built in the mid-1940s. The year was 1947. World War II had ended, but a new race was starting. The race to build machines that could think faster than any human. Inside Harvard University's computation laboratory, Howard Aiken's team was operating a five-ton computer that looked less like a computer and more like a steel factory. A maze of panels, thousands of switches, and rows of relays that clicked like mechanical insects. Those relays were everything. They opened, closed, routed logic, and moved information, tiny metal fingers performing thousands of electrical decisions every second. And that's where something went wrong. On September 9th, 1947, the Mark II suddenly malfunctioned. The engineers started the slow, painful ritual of debugging, tracing wires, testing circuits panel by panel, following a faint trail deep inside the machine, until they reached relay number 70. And there it was. A moth. A real, literal moth, wedged between two metal contacts, physically blocking the relay from switching. A tiny, ordinary insect, shutting down a machine worth more than a small town block. One of the engineers, Grace Hopper, who would later become one of the greatest pioneers in computer science, taped the moth into the logbook with a dry little note. First actual case of bug being found. And just like that, the word bug became immortal. But here's the twist. They didn't invent the word. Inventors like Thomas Edison were already using bug to describe technical faults decades earlier. The moth didn't create the term. It simply made it unforgettable. A tiny joke between engineers that became global vocabulary. And the story matters because it reveals something deeper about early computing how fragile it all was. One moth, one gram of confused biology, could stop a multi-ton giant built from thousands of moving parts. Fast forward to today. We don't use relays the size of your hand anymore. We use transistors measured in nanometers. Billions of them packed onto a chip smaller than your fingernail. The scale changed, but the problem didn't. Computers still break because of tiny things. A single transistor failure. A flip bit from heat or even a cosmic ray. Or a microscopic oversight buried deep in code. The kind that has taken down entire systems at once. From recent CrowdStrike failures to massive AWS and Cloudflare outages. In modern computing, even one invisible mistake can ripple out and freeze banks, hospitals, airports, offices, sometimes the whole internet. But we still call them bugs. Because in 1947, one very confused moth flew into the wrong place at the wrong time and became one of the most famous accidents in computing history. Every time you fix a bug, you're continuing a tradition that started with that moment. That logbook page, that first literal creature that brought a computer to a halt. This is just one of many strange, forgotten stories that shape the machines around us. A silent reminder 
that even the biggest machines in history can be brought down by the smallest things. Thanks for watching.